trader here. We're after a block drain. That's right. We're after a blocked stormwater. So when it was raining last time, the gutters were overflowing. There's a, a pit at the back that couldn't handle the volume of water. So she believes there's a problem underground. So we're gonna go there and check it out and see if we can find the problem, get it cleared. If not, locate what's going on for her for some future work. Right up, I'll see you when I get there. Storm water, about a meter or so up, couple meters up, we encounter roots. Squash pipe. So just up there somewhere, bit of a squash pipe also navigate our way past and around all that and we'll get these roots all cleared out so they're having problems with it all backing up in the back area so if that's the case you know i go through my checks with them ask some questions which helps me to try and work out where i need to start from and that's what i said to her there it sounds like there's something towards the front of the house so we head to the front flick up the camera to see if we can see a problem and that's what we've seen so we know there's a problem Jet is connected. Let's go fire it up. And I've been having a coffee. Let's fire up this jetter. So if you're new to the channel, they call me the penetrator. And this is the big penetrating nozzle. We're gonna cut through these roots, clear a path, and send the root cutter up to tidy it out.
pull it back. We've gone well up towards the back. So it felt like it just hit a bend, so that's probably where it turns. So we don't need to go past that. We'll pull this back, give that main line a good flush, run the camera up and work out what is going on around there. like a break. broken pipe there, we'll mark that and the rest is all good we've relocated up the back here so the camera from the street comes to here oh, yeah. okay. so we're not that much further a couple meters and we get to that next down pipe yeah, cool. so there's an aggie there there's a pit here we've got to look into so it's full of rock 
leaf matter, but I can't get the camera far. So we're just gonna send a small penetrating nozzle down and see if we can just clear a path and open that up. And then camera the line. Hopefully all these rocks don't get sent off like missiles, but just workplace health and safety that we've got to deal with. Sometimes it's rocks. We'll move those ones. Okay, let's have a go. I've changed angles. I'm getting sprayed, you guys are getting sprayed. We'll go this way. See if it makes any difference. Progress, but if we just going into dirt, we get stuck. Mm. I don't know what this pit is doing anyway, because it's like we're through now. Um, like, because it seems like it's on a bit of a, a high point. Ah, okay. And there. Ah, okay. Through there. We, well, we made some progress. It could just be really, um, it's really, it's like a 50 mil. So it's a small pipe. Hopefully we can get this to drop. Here we go. Not yet.
Maybe it goes nowhere. That is a ton of sand. goes nowhere and that's why they've got this 20 mil gravel at the base for a, like some sort of soak away gravel pit go to the street and have a quick look see much else so let's do our final recap so drains all clear and um, we got that first break here which is just a dig up and repair then we found a couple other problems so that was the main problem where all the leaves and debris were getting caught up and sticks getting caught up behind that break so we've got that clear and open for the time being at 16 meters there's a break right here meters there's a crack on this junction cracked that's that 19 meter mark where the junctions cracked on the stormwater and then just flick the camera through that down pipe just to check that branch line to make sure it's all good because one of the problems she was experiencing is this um, little outdoor area water's getting in back there and water's overflowing so she thought there could have been a problem in here so we've just checked that for her it's all clear i did suggest however uh this is just jammed straight in there protruding in a little bit uh, it's not really causing that much of a problem but if it was me i'll just make that into a uh, pvc downpipe and then just take that back to the wall and make it look a bit neater so that's that one over here we tried jetting and clearing this this went to right here okay very odd just stop there gravel rock um, that aggie was going into the line over there and i reckon that is coming from this retaining wall and running around there and this just butts up against it or near it or it just stops in the middle of the ground we don't know but maybe further work could be required with that if she wants to look into it so we're all done here that main line's all clear and flowing a couple of repairs should be done we'll see how we go we'll send off a quote and if she wants them done we'll get it done and add it to the end of the video right up i'll see you on the next one